FL Studio 25 beta just dropped the other day. We're going to get right into it. Let's download it, see what it's all about, see what's coming up in the new update. So on the forum, let's download it for Windows. Gives you a quick overview of what's new here. We got new stuff in audio clips, exporting, FL Studio Remote, history, news panel, communications panel, mastering, new stuff in the mixer, new stuff in the browser, the playlist, some new plugin stuff going on here. A lot of scripting, which I don't understand fully. We need an expert for that. We got some plugins that have been updated as well. Keep in mind that this is a separate download than your normal FL Studio version, so it just goes side by side don't use this for anything super important if you're gonna use and try out beta beta actually expires in september sign your life away you can see it installs an actual new version called beta so it's not going to affect your current version of fl studio at all here she is beta i always make sure look down below right here producer edition 24.2.99 so let's go through and see what we got here one of the most important and most talked about things that we've been seeing and here it is right in the mixer we now have a plus button wow look at this how many additional do we have let's keep going where do we stop how many do we get i'm just gonna test this out let's see are we infinite do we have an infinite amount of mixer tracks now i don't know who's gonna need 240 mixer tracks but i mean hey look at we're at 250 260 i can't click my mouse fast enough i think we have an infinite amount of mixer tracks now what was that i just saw something on one of these mixer tracks why is that lowered that's pretty random out of nowhere just this one and this one were lowered maybe that's some sort of bug by negative 0.2 db for some reason only on tracks 321 and 324 pretty odd i didn't click anything all i'm clicking is this plus button up oh, there's another one negative 0.1 db but i'm still going strong over here we're at 400 which i don't understand how anybody in the world would ever get that high ever but i mean hey the option is there i mean look how high we're at right now we're at 440 450 i like that option all right right here insert mixer menu options insert one track insert mixer tracks or add tracks from a preset list these options are also available from the right click on the plus button to add a new mixer track okay so you can actually right click this plus button and you can add one you can add multiple you can increase the number of tracks to add from state oh that's pretty dope so any presets you have like these are all different vocal chains and effects presets that i have and i can just add one from that so if i want to add my stock vocal chain boom add it on track number 455 let's go increase the number of tracks to Wow, you could just type in, what if I type in a thousand? Oh, the mat, wait, the count must be between 455 and 500. Okay, what if I put 500 here? And then what if I add another one? Oh, I'm maxed. Okay, we are maxed at 500. I was almost there. We're maxed. Maxed at 500. If I undo, all right. So if I undo, that works. If I want to undo tracks, you can add, again, add one, add multiple, increase the number of tracks just instantly so you don't have to keep hitting that plus button. If you want 500 tracks, just type in 500. Or again, add any kind of preset or template that you have or a chain, vocal effects chain, whatever you got added in there just from that plus button as well. All right, if we jump back up to over here where we got export, this is pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly how it does it. I might test it out. Better handling of duplicate sample names when exporting to zip. So I'm assuming maybe it just, it names it like under underscore two or underscore one or so so something like that a lot of times we have that issue where tracks get doubled up and then it chooses whatever it thinks is correct and sometimes it could be named similar or the same thing and it just replaces it with that sample news panel added an animation to the news toolbar button when a new notification appears mastering the mastering window can now update previews in real time based on parameter changes all right that's dope if you're not familiar with the mastering if you go to export master i gotta download it for beta if you haven't done it you gotta go through this process right here all right i think that's downloaded and this is where you master your tracks a lot of people haven't been talking about this in a while i'm not sure how many of you are using it but it is a super super helpful feature in fl stock with the cloud if you have fl cloud you have mastering all right this one might mess me up for a while to be honest i don't know why they changed this but it might mess me up so the slice tool which i use a lot do a lot of vocal stuff a lot of audio stuff i'm slicing and dicing the default mode for the slice tool is now just vertical if you want to have the diagonal slicing you have to now hold the right click for that diagonal slicing which why before i could just it was a free-for-all i could go diagonal left up right down i like that because sometimes i had audio clips that were out of line with each other like say if i'm i'm doing somebody's vocal like this and i want to slice it I would hold the alt key and just click on it on a diagonal but now i have to right click no 
if I want to get that diagonal slice right there, I now have to hold right click. But no, that's red going on here. Yeah, so I don't know how I feel about that new slicing option because that's going to disturb my workflow a little bit for a little while. I might end up liking it. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. But right now, it's not working in beta. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, we have some new plugin stuff going on here. The FL Studio Mobile Rack. Access all FL Studio Mobile plugins separately or combine as instruments or effects. This is the FL Studio Mobile Rack right here. This is something that I don't normally use, but I, I do see a lot of people using FL Studio Mobile and mobile within desktop. So that's pretty cool for anybody that uses that. Some minor, very minor plugin updates here. Flex added an animation when selecting random presets. FPC, the selected pad now has an outline. Eh, not a big deal. Transporter, this is something that I need to use a lot more. Added sidechains for transient detection. Drum Max now shows pad names in the piano roll. Fruity Balance added a DB hint when mousing over the peak meter. That's pretty dope. Yep, so in Fruity Balance, if you hover over the meter right here, you can see up in the top left, it gives you the DB, which that should have been the case for a, a long time, but it's just one of those things. It's just like how they never used to have it on the faders either. Back in my day, if you hovered over the, the fader, it never gave you the DB as well. So you could turn the fader down to a DB. Yeah, it gives that to you here in the extra large mode, but and now it does it for pretty much anything. If you hover over any knob, any level. So I'm surprised that that wasn't there, to be honest with you. This is really cool. Out of the plugin updates, this is probably one of my favorite things in this section right here. The fact that now... Fruity Granulizer and Fruity Slicer are now considered actual plugins and treated as actual plugins. So in turn, you can now use them in Patcher, which if you don't know me by now, Patcher is my favorite plugin in FL Studio. So now you can utilize Granulizer and Slicer inside of Patcher, which is amazing because that's going to just change the game for some sampling stuff. And if you're not familiar with how to do that and add stuff in Patcher, just go to add another plugin. This is in the channel rack, so if you go through the presets in channel rack, you'll get different presets than you do inside as a mixing plugin. But nonetheless, if you right click add a plugin, here's my giant list of plugins. We're going to go to Fruity Granulizer first. Where you at, Fruity Granulizer? And it is added. You could never add that before. It just wouldn't work. Would not go. Fruity Slicer before today would not work. And I know some people are talking about how this update might be underwhelming a little bit. I can see that, but I have a feeling FL Studio is cooking up something really special. There's gonna be some game changing stuff that's happening here. Like what they didn't even mention or put in the beta yet is this plugin, whatever this plugin may be. Now there's some rumors that this may be a dynamic EQ, a dynamic limiting plugin, a soft clipper, a hard clipper and a soft clipper in one. We don't know yet for a fact, but I'm hoping that it's a dynamic EQ. I don't see this being a dynamic EQ. Maybe this is just a small portion of whatever, you know, options are in that plugin. So they're not really giving us the whole scale of the screenshot anyway. But this is something else that's going to be big that is going to be coming to FL25 if I had to guess. Because they wouldn't tease it within the same teaser if that wasn't the case. It's just not in beta yet. My guess is that they drop this on the final drop or in one of the release candidates that are coming soon. Right now, we're only in beta one. They usually go through two, three betas, and then like two, maybe three release candidates before it goes out to the public as a full update. Let me know what you think about FL25. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Also, I'll leave a link down below so you can grab FL25 beta. And please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this with a friend if you get me. Catch you in the next one.